hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i just wanted to share a um so this is my entry for um firefly 67 her name is gina she's having a challenge and um all you have to do is a page um a junk journal page uh decorate it and then um just send it off to her but you know i can't just do a page so I added some other things in here um she's doing like a friendship journal um and just including you know everyone who sends their entries um into her journal so before I start um to show you some of the things that I used so I got these prima flowers and I wanted to incorporate one of them into it so I used that I used this uh, Park Lane paper pad from Joanne. And I used a lot of the King Company. Like I have the, uh, a lot of the um, collection. So I used this, um, this one here. And I got this from uh, Tuesday morning. And then I used um, a couple other things. So... First thing is the flower is supposed to be clipped on. I was kind of waiting for it to dry. I didn't want to just clip it on there. And so what I did was I just added some stickles. If I can find it here. The silver one to the edges of the flower. And um, to the, um, the stem turned out really cute and then I just like I was looking for like the what is it called the ones like the clothes clothes hangers but I couldn't find it so I just used this one um I wanted to clip it onto the um the ribbon so this ribbon I bought at um uh, Hobby Lobby I like making these um, but I saw them and they were only 99 cents because they were on clearance, so I bought it. And then um, I have made her like a little book, like a femra embellishment book. This is from that paper pad cane company. And then um, on the front, I just, I didn't know maybe she would want to use this um, journal card so I didn't want to glue it on here I sewed it and then I added coffee dye paper on the other side and then it has a pocket up here so I just didn't um I didn't want to do that on you know give it the option I have some lace and this is an envelope underneath and um some I stitched the cover and then I added coffee dye paper in the inside of the cover. So here I made her some, um, I inserted these little clear pockets. This is actually like, um, God, I can't talk today. But you can get these at the dollar store, these little clear things. And I just like, um, made her these two paper clips, which is from the, um, also the Kane Company. And then I made her um, this flower one. I think that's from uh, Hobby Lobby Paper Studio. And then I just uh, sewed some tabs onto there. Added a couple flower tags. Uh, a few pieces of ephemera. And then I added a little, another little journaling card on this side. I'm missing one. I was going to add one more in there. And then a little note. And I forgot to put my card in there. Um, I'll have to find it later. Um, and then that's it on that. So that turned out really cute. I hope she likes, uh, you know, the blues and kind of vintage look to it 
I used um, vintage photo and then I also used distress ink broken china and uh, I just bought these so I don't really know how to use them that well but I did use a little bit of this it is very different from the other one so this is her page and I just um, made a pocket added some trim this is her pocket and then this is a stencil that I have and then I used um, I think I used both actually that one and this one on the um, stencil and then I just added a tab to it and that's the inside I kind of wanted to leave a blank for her to write in, in it and then I left this blank because you know okay so I wanted to give her um you know let her uh, decorate it herself if she wanted to so that's why I left it blank and then I sewed it um, so the paper another tab a little fabric tab and then I made these little um like kind of like you could just insert some little tags or paper or whatever and then I made this other tag for her and backed it with um coffee dye paper so I hope she really likes this if you're interested I'm gonna link her info below she makes some really pretty journals um and thank you so much for watching. Bye.